What makes 71 Degrees North different from other reality shows? Cold. <laughs> it's so cold. It's twice as cold as your freezer, and that's cold. He's so sick of me saying that. Amount but of times I've heard that quote. It, it is, you can't begin to appreciate the conditions in which these 10 celebrities are, I wouldn't even say living, coping. It's punishing. It's a, I think there is no harder show that you could compete on, and I don't know what they would do to raise the bar beyond this really. The strange thing is they're, they're not necessarily competing against each other at the beginning because it is about survival. They're trying to cope against Mother Nature and they're shouting, come on Mother Nature, give it everything you've got and Mother Nature is and they're really struggling so they have to come together but obviously as time goes on they become competitive with each other mm. which makes it a little bit different to any other reality show I've seen. So I think you'll see when you watch the first show that they, they, they all fly out there and it's all like, hey, we're in the Arctic yeah. and oh, look at all our clothes. It's very James Bond. They arrive on snowmobiles and everything's great and all of a sudden the first night when they pitch the tent, as soon as night reality comes. kicks in. Did any of the celebrities surprise you? They all surprised me in as much as they didn't quit. And I really, I mean, we had reserves on standby in London ready to fly in at a moment's notice because we thought we would need at least four replacements and nobody was called upon. I thought that was remarkable, actually. Mm. But um, I can sort of understand why, because it was just unspoken, really. I mean, a few people would say, oh, I wish I was at home, or what am I doing here? But that, those conversations never really developed. It was just like, you know, if, if we start that conversation, we'll all go home, so let's just not even go there. Mm. Obviously, you weren't doing the challenges, but did you struggle with the conditions at all yourselves? Yeah, did some of the yeah I, d I did quite a few of the immunity challenges, a bit of testing beforehand, plus the fact that I asked if I could have a no go. No one at... asked him to, he no, just volunteered. No, I'm going to have a go at this. Uh, but it was nice because you could kind of empathise, sympathise, and I didn't feel bad when I laughed out loud in their faces after they'd maybe not done it so well, you know. Um, but it was, it was good uh, to, ha to have a go at those things. But um, it, yeah, and it, you know, when you stood there doing nothing and you're waiting for hours, it sounds strange, but you do get very cold. It's minus 30 and you stood on ranger skins, you've got two layers of boots on, you've got maybe five or six layers on you. Um, and it is about that determination. I remember being so cold uh, when they were building a teepee one, one night that I was literally getting angry at myself, kind of going, oh, I'm so cold. I had no one to blame. There was no one there for miles. Which was like, oh, I'm so cold. And it just really strange things to you. And for these guys... You know, they're doing that, they're taking on the challenges, they're not sleeping, they're getting grumpy. It's just hideous. Do you think the show could go on for years and years? I hope so. Uh, I hope so. why yeah. not? The yeah. Arctic's, you know, not going to... Unless it melts. Yeah. <laughs> um, you can only film one month of the year out there. The, the only month to do it was March because the conditions changed so much. And even in March, you know, we had to find three or four different locations. Uh, the first ice swim, we didn't start till four o'clock in the afternoon because there were avalanches everywhere. So it's a pretty tough place to go and film. But mm. fingers crossed, you know, um, there's so many elements to it. It's epic. The music is fantastic. It's, you know, real contender type stuff. The characters are hilarious. It's really funny, funnier than we thought it was going to be. Mm. Um, it has a bit of everything for everybody, hopefully. What was your favourite moment from the show? Oh, there's quite a few favourite moments. I think there's quite a few favourite sayings. Uh, Shane in programme one, he turns up on his, uh, uh, turns up on his uh, snowmobile like James Bond and he takes his hat off like the Timothy advert and he goes, because I'm worth it. That made me laugh. Andrew Castle gets the Arctic Circle and he turns to me and he says, you know what, places like this should only be seen from the air, from the aeroplane with a nice chilled glass of champagne and some warm nuts. I've got no champagne my nuts ain't warm and that kind of set the tone for the rest of the trip really but there were some great moments Michelle overcame so many fears Shane was hilarious throughout Gavin and his determination Joe and his one-liners you know it's I've only picked out a few there but they all bring their own characters to it and they're very very funny in their own ways I think for me the winning moment Ooh, yeah. making it to North Cape yeah. um, you know the, the winner gets to light this huge bonfire and you for all intents and purposes could be at the, at the end of the world you know, the, sure. just, yeah, the, the, you know, what you see on the horizon is just stunning, it's beautiful. And having known what they've gone through to get there, um, it, yeah, that was pretty emotional, actually. Also for us, you know, these jobs are few and far between mm. in television, where you get to go away with 70 people that you really hit it off with to an extraordinary place doing ridiculous and stupid things. Um, and they pay you. Mm. You know, we you are lucky. Paid? I, mm, sorry. Fuming, not again. Um, it was it was incredible. 
um, an experience we hope to repeat, most definitely.